Hello Cancer and welcome to your June 2022, sorry about that, June 2022 Committed Love Reading. Cancer, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising sign, you know, the signs to see, moon and rising sign readings to see if those resonate any more with you or if they have any more information in them for you. If you're looking for clarity or you're looking for more guidance, check those signs out for you. Cancer, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. I'm so glad that you've been um, guided to view this reading. Hopefully it will manifest for you and resonate with you. Um, if you are returning, thank you so much for your trust and support, your likes and subscribes, all your energy. I really appreciate all you guys. I appreciate all the comments. I really like knowing that I'm talking to people out there. I'm talking to, you know, I, I feel your energy. I just like to be validated or know that, yeah, there is people watching. So I really appreciate you guys. All right. Get a little bit of Palo Santo burning here. And we are going to see what we have going on for committed cancers out there. You know who you are. All right, guys. It's not wanting to burn as much as I want it to, but that's okay. We will just go on with the reading and see what we have. I'm going to do three cards for overall energy for you guys. And they'll be for both you and your partner. If you have more than one partner cancer, feel free to um, figure out who I am talking about and then... Um, you can also check their signs, sun, moon, or rising signs also. Right, the cancer committed, please. Cancer in a relationship reading, committed reading. Whoa, 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 whoa. Way too many. Throw this over with flame real quick. All right. Cleanse them a little bit. I do cleanse them, but goodness, cancer committed. Cancer committed. Beautiful. Mother, we have goodness, gratitude. I love how you have birds. If you have a bird, um, if you like birds, then, you know, this is definitely for you. You have two that are very similar. One has her wings down, one has her wings up. I see this almost as you'll protect whatever you can protect for as long as you can, but there will be a time that you have to let it go. It could be children. It could be the relationship. Beautiful. Grateful for everything that you've been through. Grateful for everything it taught you. Grateful for everything you're going through with this this partner goodness um it you know i love this i love the um duality of it it's like you both are on the same page you both mirror each other you both um you know want the same things are looking in the same direction want to go the same course again mother either you could be becoming a mother one of you could be becoming a mother you could have um nurturing instincts you could be protecting the relationship at all costs no matter what very very good all right oh these are clarifiers wrong deck all right for those of you that are interested because people ask these cards are the Roots and Wings Oracle that I'm using. Um, I'm using the Pride Tarot as a main tarot. I'm using the Tarot by Caro as a clarifier deck. And then I have, um, as kind of the staples, the Love Story Oracle. And then the Whispers of Love Oracle over here. So those are the decks I'll be using. All right. And they're in the description below if you're interested in those. The Hermit. Cancer Singles got Hermit in the exact same spot. Ace of Cups. And the High Priestess. Interesting. And you have the same artist. How interesting. Hmm. The Hermit talks about 
loneliness. It talks about going inward. It talks about, um, I see this honestly in a committed reading as, as having time to yourself, being able to have the time to think, being able to have your alone time, acknowledging that everybody needs their alone time. You know, it's under the mother card. It's under the protection. It's under the nurturing energy. So I think you and your partner see this as, um, nurturing and not like what do you mean you don't want to spend time with me because it's not that it's like you're with this person a lot but when it comes down to it you need to do things by yourself and they need to do thing, things by themselves it's that kind of energy and you both are um very much aware of it and you both are very supportive of it you have ace of cups you have this beautiful over abundance of love coming out of the ace of cups energy um you know, you see it as, I see this as you see it as the love of your life. I see this as you feel that this person, um, so sorry. This person has, you know, all the qualities, all the things that you want in a relationship, want in a person, want in a partner, and you, you feel very blessed. You feel that your cup overflows. Um, there, there's an ace here, so you could have, be wanting to maybe start a family, maybe expand, maybe you're pregnant. Again, with the mother energy, that's a possibility. And you have the high priestess, and this is talking about your intuition, your instincts, your gut instincts, knowing knowing when the time is right for you, knowing when things are right for you. Um, and sometimes I just feel with this energy, especially with the hermit, I mean, you very well could be pregnant or your partner. Um, but I'm feeling more to you. I just feel this energy of, you know, wanting to withdraw, wanting help, wanting somebody but you also want your time it's like i need my time and my space now more than ever maybe you're trying to conceive maybe it's something like that but it's listen to yourself listen to your instincts listen to um your knowledge that you is that that you have deep down in your core listen to that and know that that is your truth and you have to honor your truth most definitely all right your partner side now your partner if you have more than one, you will have to discern who this is for. We have temperance. We have the five of cups. And we have the two of swords. So we have temperance is patience. I just feel like if you're going through something, either you're wanting to conceive, you're wanting to start the family, you're wanting to expand the family, Maybe your partner is trying to be patient with you. Maybe there's something going on medically with you um, that you are needing time on, that you, you need to work through. And your partner's having to have patience, needing to have patience, um, learning to have patience, right? Figuring out different ways to help you. Figuring out be the best ways to help you, figuring out the best ways to help you help yourself even, right? And we have the five of cups. There's some type of disappointment here. There's some type of disappointment, some type of loss, some type of grieving. Um, you all could have went through something. And, you know, if it's if it's something that you went through together, uh, you need to know that your partner could be grieving too. And your partner needs support too. There is love there. There will be love there when you all come back to each other. When you all um, are able to come back to each other. You love this person. You love this person. You love this person. That's not an issue. This person loves you too. I think they've just been hurt. You could have hurt this person. Maybe not meaning to. But your partner just feels um, kind of left out in the loop. Kind of alone. Kind of isolated. Um, and is trying to have patience. Is trying to figure this out. Is trying to do the best he can or they can do. And they also have the two of swords. So this is a decision that they need to make. This is um, maybe something that you all were supposed to make together maybe it's a struggle uh they're fighting you know maybe your partner's fighting with them with him or herself trying or their selves trying to figure out the best course of action maybe really needing you at this time and you might not be available so you need to kind of check in on your partner as well and make sure their needs are met because they can be going through something mental too they can be going through something that is hard on them too and they need help just as much as you do so um 
you know, try not to, especially with the Hermit energy, try not to close yourself off. Because remember, this duality card, it's like whatever you go through, they go through. Whatever they go through, you go through. Right? You're a mirror image of each other. If you're together, you're together. All right. We're going to pull a challenge card for the relationship. This is for Cancer's Challenge. Six of Pentacles. The challenge is, again, fairness. The challenge is balance. The challenge is to, you know, just like temperance is a card of balance. It's bringing in fairness. It's bringing in, um, you know, different ways of doing things even. Uh, trying things out, figuring things out. This is bringing in balance. Making sure that whatever goes on here, this one knows about whatever goes on here, this one knows about whatever needs to be done, it, it is done in balance. It is done in a give and take. It is done in communication. It is done in growth for the greater good of the relationship, right? It is done in growth. You're bringing in balance. It's like, you know, when you all are together on something, that is when you grow and you flourish and everything's nourished. When you're separate on it, that's when everything starts to die and dwindle and fall apart. And we already know that you all want to be together. So it's bringing it in a balance, really trying hard to work together, trying hard to be on the same page, trying hard to be, um, you know, we'll do this is you, this is me, I need this done, I'll help you with this if you help me with that. Compromise, 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 compromise. The action you all need to take, Cancer, is the Wheel of Fortune. It is, you know, it's a, it's Lady Luck. It's taking a chance, taking a gamble, right? There could be something that you all are contemplating, especially with the Two of Swords, that you're thinking about doing that you're not sure of. You could have tried something in the past that didn't succeed, that hurt. I'm thinking kind of like um, if it has to do with babies, if you all are trying to conceive like in vitro or something like that, maybe it didn't happen last time. Um, maybe you're contemplating it this time, but you won't know till you take a gamble, till, till you take a risk. And the action you need to take is to take that risk, take that gamble. Try it out and see. See what happens. Your your fortune, your shift, there could be a shift. Well, there is a shift in your energy with the action card. It's not offered for a very long time. If you get the opportunity, take it. If you all want to. I'm not telling you what to do. Um, but that's kind of what the cards are saying. If you get the opportunity, take it. You don't know how long you'll be up. You don't know how long things will be. So, you know, strike while the iron's hot is what I, I keep hearing. All right. Let's see what else we got for you guys. Right there. We have control. And we have support. Well, you both definitely support each other. There's no doubt about that. You can see that in the cards. You can see that with the caring for each other. Control is, I go back to the Wheel of Fortune. If there's something in your life that you have wanted or have asked the universe for or have put it out there, so to speak, you need to let go of the control of it. You need to let go and, and think, you know, I always say if you ask for something, if you ask the universe for something, let go freely. Don't hold the kite string. Don't keep holding the kite string thinking, I need to help you because you don't know what I really need, even though I just told you what I really need. Kind of that energy. So if there's something you all have asked for, if there's something you all put out there, if there's something you all um, are trying, like, again, to have a child or something like that, uh, put it out to the universe, let go, and, and let the universe control the, the, the outcome of it. Um, again, with the wheel, you're taking a gamble, so you know... First and foremost, you don't have control over it. And secondly, um, you know, you have to let go and just trust. All right. One more card for you guys. I can't think 
this one up, even if I wanted to. Yeah, this was the last card down. I'm, I'm not, that's not the card I'm picking, but it was down, so I have to have it. Because it says have faith. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. I think that goes beautifully with the Wheel of Fortune. It goes beautifully with the control. Let go of that control. Have faith. Have faith. Trust your faith in the situation. Look at how the butterflies are carrying her. She's got her eyes closed. She trusts that the butterflies are going to carry her safely. She's not worried. She's not scared. She's not anything. She has faith that she will get to where she's needing to go. And the butterflies are going to take her there. All right, Cancer. Focus on love. Focus on your partner. That's what I said with the Five of Cups. They're hurting too. Focus on them a little bit. They're hurting too. They need support too. They need guidance too. They need to know you're there too. You know, um, that could be the one giving and giving and giving, but they need, they need to know you're there too. Look for the good in everyone. Even dragons. Look for the good in everyone. And I see this as look for the good in situations. Look for the good in situations. Look look for the good of what happened to you in the past. Right? What has happened to you in the past? How did that shape your future? How did that put you to be the person you are today? Let's see. This says, you may be experiencing a rough patch with someone you share a relationship with. Work toward turning things around. How you perceive a situation has a lot to do with how you feel about it. Be good to people, no matter who they are or what role they play in your life. When you approach relationships with a positive mindset, you reinforce the love in your life. Strive, no, strive to be supportive and loving. Foster the good in others and the and the return will be tenfold. Hold them up as they held you up, as they hold you up. Remember the give and take, the six of pentacles, the balance, bringing it in. Uh, don't be the don't be the one that takes takes takes. Give give give. Let them get. Let them take. Let them give. Balance, 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 balance. That is what you're looking for. Oh, Cancer. Good energy. Um, again, if it doesn't resonate, check your moon and rising signs. If you like this style of reading, well, technically not like this. But anyway, I put out readings every Saturday for the week ahead. Um, They're all the zodiacs, all the different signs. And um, they are health, uh, finance, and career, and love. So they're shorter, and they're just kind of straight and to the point. So subscribe and you know, hit your notification bell if you are interested in that and you don't want to miss a, a reading from me. And you'll be notified when I upload. All right, Cancer. Have a beautiful, blessed month. Good luck to you guys. Let me know how this resonates. I'm very curious to see. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye for now.